Hey there guys, it's Salis, and welcome to Tokyo Jungle. This is a game I cannot stop myself from playing, despite how many times my PlayStation 3 controller runs out of battery. So I figured I'd make it a series. Let me explain how the series is going to work first. I'm going to do an entire run of survival mode for every single animal. And if we just go into a new game, single player, you'll see I've actually unlocked quite a few animals as I've gone along. So I've got the Pomeranian, got the rabbit, the chick, the cat, the deer, the gazelle, and the beagle. I've also unlocked a few of the uh, pay unlock characters, such as the saber-toothed tiger, the kangaroo, <laughs> the giraffe, and the crocodile. And also the ERCX. It's a robot dog, basically. You can be K9. How awesome is that? Backstory about the game first. It's Tokyo is overrun with animals. The human race has gone, with one exception. You can actually unlock that one. There is a businessman, and that's Homo erectus. Feel free to laugh. So technically you can play as a human, but why would you want to when you can be a saber-toothed tiger? <laughs> anyway, the whole point is all the animals have taken over Tokyo. It's a massive jungle and it's a fight for survival. There are two, technically three, types of playable animal. Such as the Pomeranian is the predator and the silker deer is your grazer. Pretty obvious what the guard do. However, when I said technically three... The ERCX is neither. It's Probe Mark II. I don't know. I haven't actually tried playing as the ERCX yet, but I'm sure I'll get around to it during the course of the series. For the first run, it's just going to be the Pomeranian, because that's the one the game kind of insists you start with. So, without further ado, let's jump in and enjoy Tokyo Jungle. Pomeranian away. You always get this start screen, which is pretty damn cool. Now, as you can see, my Pomeranian is pretty happy right now. He's in the middle of Tokyo, and what is a Pomeranian to do other than stuff his face? So let's wait for these crows to come back. They will land eventually. Okay, they will not land if I'm too close. So let's dive in and... Yeah, and the whole point of the, the start is just to stuff your face. You'll notice there's a danger meter that's just come up. It's because I'm technically being attacked by that crow, even though it's not doing anything. But if I dive into this long grass here... I'm going to have no crow-based hassle. Drink a bit of water. Look over a bit of my hunger bar. And I'm going after that other crow. Where are you? you? Dare attack me. I am the mighty Pomeranian. Okay, I've got to mark four times to score two clean kills. It gives you challenges as you go along, and there are certain rules for the challenges. And depending, obviously, on how long you've been playing, you get different ones. When you first start, the challenges are very, very simple. And they get progressively harder as the game goes on, as you would expect. Now, these are your mark points, which pretty obvious what you've got to do there. You've got to mark your territory. And I think mostly out of decency, they don't make the Pomeranian mark his territory the way a Pomeranian normally would. Right, it's time to score my second clean kill. Oh, hello. Sleeping rabbits. Dead rabbits. And I'm going to stuff my face. You may also notice that in the corner of the screen when I'm feeding, there's a little meat that shows me how many calories I'm intaking. And that determines your rank. There are three ranks, Rookie, Veteran and Boss. And all the ranks have a purpose. Because when it comes to uh, mating, 
the best mates will only be interested in boss level Pomeranians. Come here, I want to stuff my face on rabbits. I think that's my second one I've marked. Come here, bunny. There we go. Yeah, combat's actually really, really good in this game. I find it really, really fun. This also acts as your dodge. So you can dodge out the way of incoming enemy attacks, and there will be enemy attacks, believe me. This game is not one to shy away from a fight. In fact, the longer you go in, the worse kind of creatures turn up. Like if you're... If you've been playing this for about, I don't know, an hour without dying, they will send in lions. There we go, take down the beagle. In the top right, you'll also see uh, various events that go on. And they always happen in different areas of the city, so it kind of encourages you to travel around and explore all of what Tokyo has to offer. Because apparently Pomeranians are tourists. Who knew? Right, come here. Ah, pigeons. My favourite snack of the day. Die, pigeon! Aha. Every so often as well, you'll come across things like that, which are presents normally left by humans. Now, that kind of combat is really bad. I didn't see that beagle almost killed me, and that would have been a really bad start to the series. Every so often you'll see like a targeting reticule come around you. That's your cue to dodge like hell. Because most animals can one-shot smaller animals with their bite, and you don't want that happening. So let me find some more food. Now, this is one of the things I like about it. You've got dynamic weather effects. Like, at the moment, because of the heavy rain, my vision is decreased. But so is that of every other creature. So it makes stealth a little bit easier. Now, as you see, I've ranked up to veteran. But I need to be a boss level before I can get the good mate. So, let's just keep stuffing my face. I'm going to become a right fat little Pomeranian. There we go. Additional food, thank you. Now, the three ranks determine what kind of mate you'll get as well. In that they have ranks. You've got the prime mate, which will give you the most offspring. The average mate, that will give you some offspring. And the desperate mate, or as I call them, the scabby ones. And the scabby ones, are you really don't want to go with them. Because normally they give you fleas, or they have some kind of toxic effect. Because you can actually get poisoned in this. Hello, chicken. Die, chicken. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of calories you have to intake to get up to the boss level, so you kind of have to rush. Because after 15 years, which I think is dictated by minutes. A minute is like a year, real time relative to game time. So, you want to kind of get things done in a good, good old hurry. So, I need to find myself some food. Preferably big food. I'm fed up with rabbits and chickens. I need like a sheep or something. Something pretty big. Or another dog. A beagle would be just fine right about now. Man, I could go for some beagle. Who are you trying to escape from me, rabbit? dare get in my... How dare you get in my field of vision and not die. Come on. Stamina, I need it back. Aha, sleepy rabbit, that'll do. Oh, no, sleepy chicken. Ever since, I've never seen chickens asleep in this, though. So that's a new one. 
Yeah, occasionally you'll come across sleeping animals, and depending on what type of animal they are, you can choose to either sneak up on them and clean kill them, which you've got to wait for that to go red and done. Obviously, the bigger animals, you can't clean kill them that easily. You might get a critical strike the first time, which is essentially like go for the throat. But the bigger animals take a lot to take down, unless you happen to be a bigger animal. I mean, a Pomeranian fighting a hippo just isn't going to win. Now, I've entered a different district here. I can still use the old nest, so I'm just going to sneak up on this unsuspecting creature. I think that one's a gazelle. And done. There we go. Yep, it was a gazelle. Now, hopefully, that'll be enough to take me up to boss level. There we are. I am now a boss. Boss Pomeranian. Time to get me some bitches. I can say that on the Pomeranian. You can't. So, we need to find the first mate. Who is here? What kind of what kind of kids am I expecting from you? Oh, scabby one. Yeah. Black heart, not good. <laughs> you want white or pink. White ones are your average female. You get a couple of kids. And kids are important in this, I will warn you. And obviously the prime ones, the pink ones with sparkles, because, you know, they're that good. They will give you about six kids. And the way your offspring work in this game, it's kind of like extra lives. Because when you start off, you're just on your own and you got to do all this preamble. But once you've found yourself a mate of at least average quality, I'd say. And here we are, average female. See, white hearts, no sparkles. But, yep, yeah, I'll tag her. The average female is interested. And this is why you need to control territory. There is only one place in the entire starting zone, this bit here, where you two can get it on. Your nest. And mate. Why, well, hello there. Haven't seen you before. There we are, I've changed generation. Now you'll notice, I now have a small army of Pomeranians. Now the way this works is you control the lead Pomeranian, or creature of your choice. And every time it dies, you switch up to the next one. Now I've got to get them some food because they've gone back down to rook they've gone back down to the rookie level. And that's not so good. Because if I start marking territory now, I'm not going to have a very good chance of mating. At least not with a quality mate. Come on, catch up, Pomeranian. Don't you a rabbit? Come on! You need to feed! You need to stuff your face full of rabbits and other assorted Tokyo jungle creatures. There we go! Got the rabbit! Now I don't know, I think this this entire zone, uh, the starting zone, has run out of food. So we have to move our little Pomeranian asses on. Okay, what's up here? There are creatures. That's a rabbit again. Damn, rabbits are sprightly. But that one ran right into me, like a fool. So yeah, we're now in Dogenzaka, which is the next part of Tokyo we have to go to. And I'm going to clean kill that chick. So I can stuff my face. Well, it's a baby chicken. And what's over here? Anyone? Anyone at all? No, nothing. Go on, Pomeranians. We've got work to do. Now, you can sneak around this game. Which is very, very much vital to survival if you're playing as one of the grazers. Because they tend to die a lot. And there's two ways you can do this. There's 
this way, holding down L1, which puts you basically into silent walking and low to the ground. Or you can just hide in long grass. Now, hiding in long grass is, again, vital for survival if you're playing a grazer. Because everything is out to kill you. And plants are a lot harder to find than other animals. So if you decide to play a grazer first time out, you're going to have a bad time. And bye-bye. There we go. Feed my face. And I got another presents. Now, you'll be wondering what the various presents do. As earlier on, I got this, which is flea shampoo. Gets rid of fleas, obviously. That just halts stamina loss for a while, so I can do my dodge more often. You want to save those kind of things for when you're facing bigger enemies. Because you are going to need to dodge a lot. I'm here. I'm not trying to hurt you, I'm just trying to eat you. Oh, how did you see me in the long grass? Have that. I don't care if I'm scaring the chickens away. Goodbye, you coward. Right, who's through here? Aha! Thought you could hide from me and my army of hungry Pomeranians. Hungry veteran Pomeranians, thank you. As far as the game world's concerned, this is actually really good. It's a, like, kind of a like, semi-sandbox. Because you can go all the way up onto, say, here, and literally drop your enemies out of the sky if you get the right jump. As I just did. And it allows you to stuff your face more frequently. But you've got to kind of think in this way as well, because there's a lot more birds than things on the ground except for later in the game when most of the things on the ground are designed exclusively to kill you. Like hippos, panthers, tigers, lions. For some reason, every animal, even ones not native to Japan, are here. But strangely, no Godzilla. The one creature they could have added to this, and they didn't. I'm here, crows. Am I supposed to have a crow sandwich? Without crow. Aha! You'll do. Well, then, you crows. I'm just barking at them because they can't hit me. They just kind of flap around. It's the one animal where the danger meter turns up and it can't do anything. Can't get the right jump. Come on, crows. Oh, you are. Oh, you are annoying. You know what? Nuts to it. Right, we're going to go and find some more food somewhere else because those crows just do not want to play ball. Which is a shame, really, because Pomeranians love to do that. Oh, another present. What we got? Loafers. Ah. This brings me on to the... The other fun part of this, the dress-up section. Now, as you can see, I've unlocked a few different things. And these different things you can put onto your, onto your little Pomeranian or animal of your choice, and it changes their stats. For example, the pet cap gives me additional defense. The straw hat gives me additional defense. The, her the heroin mask gives me life and defense. But, what I just got... I don't know if, no, I haven't got anything for the neck. I've got a raggedy jacket. <laughs> and I've got loafers, which give me extra attack. So let's put the loafers on and see what happens. See, look, my Pomeranian is now wearing loafers. Because we're just that cool. Right, my hunger meter is dangerously low, so I need to find something to kill. And goodbye, chick! 
Nom 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 nom. I'm nomming on chicks right now. What are you gonna do? Anyone over here by the mushroom? No. They've learned. <laughs> right, my hunger is dangerously low. And I'm probably going to die if I don't find myself something to eat. Any noms up here? Just a crow which I can't get. I never get the crows. Until now! Right, I'm gonna eat this crow. How is this danger? That crow is not doing anything. Oh, there's a scabby mate there. Oh, I've attracted the scabby mate. Oh, no, that's not good. Yeah, once you attract a mate, they will start moving towards you if they can see you. You cannot get rid of them. They are the clingiest bitches, and yes, I can still say that, you will ever meet in your life. The reason why you don't want to get a scabby mate is apart from like the fleas and the sickness and all that you might get. Only one of your Pomeranians will actually mate with them. And when you take over the next generation, you'll have less Pomeranians. So let's get this over and done with. Hello, ladies. I love the fact that these people, like these Pomeranians, sorry, have absolutely no problem having sex when their family is in the next room asleep. I'm just saying. It's a bit weird. Right, now I've exhausted Dogenzaka of most of its food. So let's move on to Shibuya Woods. Hmm. Who's over here waiting for me to bite them? Luckily, low visibility. So, perfect sneaky sneaky. Oh, God, that's a wolf. Oh, no, that's two wolves. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. No, don't eat me. Dare eat me. Right, now I'm hiding in these long grass, and you'll see. He can't see me, so he's trying to find me by scent, which he's managed to do. That's not good. Right, so I'm going to go up this bridge. And hope Wolfie is too stupid to follow me. Aha. My da my danger meter is going down. Let's sneak into this long grass here. I don't want to wake those up. But I am hungry as hell. So I'm gonna kill some boars. Oh, and here we are, that's how you switch over. Kill a boar. And ha! Thank you. Now I'm down to my last Pomeranian. This could end badly. I'll just stuff my face on four. And other boar. Come on. Alright. Let's find me some territory to mark. I need to mate very quickly. Otherwise, I'm just gonna die. Horribly. Hmm. Hello? Any food? Uh, people? Uh, animals? I just want to be your friend. Oh, I survived 20 years. Hooray! Sneaky, sneaky. And ha! Dear, I am now a veteran. Veteran Pomeranian. Ah, it's too bright now. And you're done. Now you're my food. Be fair, we 
very, very quiet. I'm hunting these guys. Damn, they are quick. Ah, la ha! Have some of that. Can't get out, can't escape me. I am the Pomeranian. Okay, change generation twice and mark six times. All of these challenges, by the way, have a time limit on them. Like, you have to do it before you survive for a certain number of years. And the events are even worse because they're really limited. I mean, the one I got earlier to get to the... What was it? Shibuya, Shibuya sh Suburbs? Still can't pronounce that bit. Oh, that's a jackal. That's a jackal. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh god, I'm dead. I am so dead. I am so dead. I can't survive jackals. Ha. No, I can't jump over the fence. No, get me out of here. Oh, that's a lot of jackals. That really is a lot of jackals. Quickly, quickly, get to the grass. Aha. Oh, that was a lot of jackals. You see what I mean about these? this thing pulling out a lot of things designed exclusively to kill you? The longer you last in the game, the more dangerous the world becomes. But they realise that King Pomeranian probably ain't going to help. And I'm dead. Yeah, that's been the first run of Tokyo Jungle. So, I'm going to let you decide which of our little furry friends, or feathered friends, we go for next time. Just to uh, reiterate, I've, I've got the silka deer, I've got the gazelle, the rabbit, the chick, the cat, the beagle, the saber-toothed tiger, the robot dog, the kangaroo, the giraffe, and the crocodile. So just post in the comments below which one you want to go with next. Whichever one gets the most comments, that's going to be our next animal of choice. So, until then, I've been Silas. Hasn't he been adorable? And I'll see you next time.